This is the easiest way to add a drop-down list of countries to your contact form 7 forms. As an added bonus, I'm going to show you how to add lists of currencies, area codes, and more. Hi, my name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. The first way to add long lists to your contact form 7 forms is to do it manually. So let's do that. Let's head into a contact form. And let's create a new form. Let's call this country drop down. Click into the form and put your cursor wherever you want the drop down to be. Click on drop down menu. And then we type in country names. Hopefully, you know them all in alphabetical order. Aruba maybe is one of them. Antarctica, not a country. Arctica isn't. Angola. And then you go on and on through all the countries. You can also find a list online to copy and paste. For example, on the Contact Form 7 website, here is the select uh, the select shortcode already done with all the country names in the world. To add that to our email, or sorry, to our form, just paste it in wherever you want. And this has magic quotes. So if you copy it directly from the Contact Form web 7 website, it's actually not going to work. I'll show you what I mean. Let's click on Save. Let's go to Pages, go to Contact, select Contact Form, Country Dropdown, Update, view the page, and we see there's the list right there. And you might be thinking, I did nothing wrong. Why didn't that work? It's because of the quotes. These quotes that we copy from this website just aren't it. So we've got to change that. I'm going to use my go-to plain text editor. It's actually a context highlighter. But still, it does plain text pretty well as well. And that's called Sublime Text, and it's free. And I'm going to replace the existing quotes with clean ones, with non-magic ones. I'm going to copy one of the opening quotes. Copy that. And then press Control-Shift-F. Paste it in there. And then with Replace, I'm going to put a regular quote from my keyboard. Replace all those instances. Copy a closing quote because it's different. It's in a different direction. Click Replace again. And now we've replaced all the quotes. As you saw, there's a different opening and different closing quote. That might be the problem that Contact Form 7 has. I'm not sure. But now we have all the same quotes, just our regular computer default. I'm just going to copy this again. Put this back into our form editor. Replacing all this nonsense with this better nonsense. Click on Save and then refresh and now we should have a nice drop down and we do there's a nice drop down right there it's a lot of countries every time you want to input countries somewhere you gotta have this piece of information and paste it in you can also do this with currencies you can do this with lists of provinces or areas in a country you can do this with lists of oceans around the world and bodies of water and whatever you want you can make lists like this manually. But there's also an easier way. That's the second way you're going to learn in this tutorial, and that's in the form of a plugin. The plugin's created by the creator of Contact Form 7. If I go to plugins, I already have it installed. It's called Listo. So just go to add new plugin if you want to install it on your site, search for Listo. And there it is, made by the same person who created Contact Form 7. It doesn't have a whole lot of installs, doesn't have a lot of reviews, but the reviews are 5 out of 5 stars, so that's something. Uh, but it works pretty well. If we go back to our contact form, I'll show you how it works. It's super simple. Let's go into the correct contact form. There we go. Let's delete this whole thing. I'm going to click on drop down menu. Just write the word test in there so that we have the structure of the short code here. I'm going to delete test and type in data colon countries. Save. And now when I come back to our contact form and refresh, we still have our countries drop down. We can also do other things. Dot UN. This will show all the countries that are part of the UN. Maybe you want that. Maybe you don't. I don't know. But that's built into the plugin. That's a lot of countries part of the UN. Seems like too many. Anyway, you can also have currencies. If you spell it properly, save that. 
Now we've got a list of currencies that we can choose from. The formatting might not be exactly how you want, so you might have to do it manually anyway, but it has all the currencies and what they're called for each country. And on the Contact Form 7 website, where we got this original short code from, you can see more information about how to use the Listo plugin. And if we go to the Listo page itself, I'll link to both of these pages in the description. Click on Commonly Used Lists. Takes us to GitHub. And here it shows all the different data groups that you can add using this function and this plugin on your Contact Form 7 form. So we have countries and we have UN for UN countries. Olympic is for countries that were in the 2012 London Olympic Games. Uh, why so specific? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want that list of countries now 12 years later. But you can add them if you want to. There's also countries with Alpha 2 to Alpha 3 code mapping, whatever the heck that means. You can click on these links here, the ones that are links, and it shows you which countries they are. Just has the short code for those countries. Maybe that's what it means. Maybe it's just the, the three code letters for countries instead of the full names. We can also have country telephone codes. I'm going to add this in to our plugin to see if we don't want to have a three letter country code with the phone code. We'd rather have the full thing. I'm going to copy that, paste that in there, save. Refresh. So it doesn't show the countries at all when you add in this phone code. It just shows you the code, which is, I would say not ideal. I know which country I'm from and I know what my phone code is, but look how many plus ones. I'm, I'm in a plus one country. There's three there, four, five, six. There's a whole bunch of plus ones. Which one am I? I don't know. Doesn't really matter probably as long as it's a plus one. But if you don't know what your country's phone code is, that's not gonna be super helpful. You can also have currencies, which we saw, time zones, and then subdivisions of countries are all the rest. This is where I feel like the plugin's a little bit lacking because I live in Canada and there's subdivisions of Canada. There's provinces and territories and that's not part of the plugin. So I'm a little bit offended that Argentina gets subdivisions, but Canada doesn't, but I guess that's how it is. And we have, for subdivisions, we have Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Switzerland, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, Cuba, Dominican Republic. And you can read by yourself as I scroll through. And the United States is near the bottom, alphabetical order, and Venezuela is the last. And that is the end of what Listo will add to your site. I'm going to show you the U.S. subdivisions because that's probably going to be a pretty common one on a lot of forms. And as you might have guessed, it's going to list out the states in alphabetical order. So you can pick a state for your form, and you don't have to create that whole list manually, which makes it super helpful. So hopefully your list, the one you want to add to your forms, is on here in the Listo plugin. Otherwise, you got to do it manually, which is to say this way, with manually inputting a giant list of whatever it is you need, and that's a little bit of a pain, but it still works. If you want to save every Contact Form 7 message to your WordPress database as a backup in case you don't receive the emails, then this video right over here is going to show you exactly how to do that. Go ahead, click it. Nothing else to see here. Just check out that video right up there.